Seventh grade, lesson 10. This is on writing division answers as mixed numbers. And then also in proper fractions. We're going to work a little bit with that. Okay. So, so far up to this point, whenever you do a division problem, for example, this, okay, as you can see, my answer would be a 1 remaining, okay? Now, up to this point, you've been working a little bit with other things, okay? But what I want you to focus on is we're going to learn to write division answers not like this anymore. Instead, whatever your remainder is, you just bring it up and then slide the 4 over, okay? So, for example, let's put this into practical use, okay? Uh, let's say I had a ribbon 25 inches long, okay? And I had four friends over, and we were going to cut the ribbon into equal lengths, okay? So I have 25 inches, and I have four people that are wanting to have this, okay? So when I perform this, what did I get? I got a 6 times 4 is 24, and I have one left over, okay? The way that we can make this to where everybody gets the same length is not to have a remainder of one inch left over. Instead, just by pulling it up here and moving the four over, I know how to cut each length, okay? Because six and one four, if I did that four times, would equal 25 altogether. You understand that? Because, let's say, this person got six and one fourth, this person got six and one fourth, this person got six and one fourth, and this person got six and one fourth. Okay? If I added up all of those, one plus one plus one plus one would equal four, and then my denominator would be four, and then six plus six plus six plus six, which is six four times, which would be 24. So it would be 24 and four fourths, okay? Which would equal a 25 total because this whole, that four fourths is one whole. So it would be 24 plus one whole. You got it? Yep. All right, now, the next thing I want you to see is if I were to ask you what percentage of this fraction is filled in, what would you tell me? 33% and one-third. 33 and one-third percent, okay? Now, because he's worked with fractions before, he understands that that's the answer, okay? But how did you get that answer? Uh, well, that's one-third of the thing is shaded, okay. and that would be one-third is okay well what does a whole circle equal 100 percent 100 percent and how much is this circle divided into uh 90 percent no how many pieces three three pieces so i would take this 100 percent and divide it into three pieces right three will go into 100 let's work it out I have one left over remaining, okay? So I'm going to pull that up here and slide this three over, okay? So what that's saying, that's our answer. So this would be 33 and a third. This would be 33 and a third, 33 and a third. And all those three added together would equal 100%. So if one of them was just shaded in, it would be 33 and a third. You got it? Yep. Yep, good job. Now, as I was saying earlier, this fraction, what does that equal? 100%. 100%, okay. Or what? Two, 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 2. 2, 2, which was yeah. how much? 100%. 1 whole, right? 100%. Okay, if I broke it up into three pieces, filled it all the way in, that would be 3 out of 3, or? 1 whole. 1 whole, which is 100%, okay? So no matter how much, um, if I always fill in the circle, it will always be 1 whole. Remember we were talking about that? All right. Let's talk about improper fractions. Do you remember what that is? Yes. Okay, what is an improper fraction? It's like, it's one and seven over five. Or over okay, five. so yeah. let's just talk about, let's not do the one and, let's just do seven over okay. five. What's wrong with this? Uh, there's a bigger number on top. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you're working with fractions, you do not ever want a bigger number on top. Five sevenths is fine because the bigger number is on the bottom, okay? When you have a bigger number on top, it's called an improper fraction, okay? Now, in order for us to see what an improper fraction is, is I'm going to draw a visual, okay? So, what I want you to see is I'm going to break this up into how many pieces? Uh, five. Five. 
Okay, now it's not completely even, but just stay with me, okay? So I broke this up into five pieces. And how many tell me how many did they tell me I had filled in? Seven. So one, two, three, four, five. I still have two more pieces, so I have to make a whole other pie, and we're breaking them up into fives. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I've got five filled in here, and then five, six, seven. So when I have seven pop the seven pieces out of five um a pie broken up into fives then i end up actually getting one whole and two fifths do you see that okay very good so as you can see i have one piece two pieces three pieces four pieces five pieces six pieces seven pieces out of the five pieces cut or the whole pie cut into fives Got it? Okay, so yes. Couldn't you also divide to find that? Yes, you could. Okay. okay, and so what Isaac's saying, and this might be easier for a lot of y'all to do, is to take the seven fifths, and this actually says seven divided by five. So that's exactly what you would do seven divided by five. Five goes into seven one time, one times five is five. You would get two left over, and so you would just bring it up. And slide the five over and so if you like doing it that way that's another way to do it it's not exactly visual but it's actually an easier mathematical way to do it very good Isaac okay so I want you to convert on your paper this improper fraction okay show me how to do it What's the final answer? One and two thirds. One and two thirds. Excellent job, Isaac. Great job. Okay, good stuff. He did it exactly right. Okay, and sometimes you may get a whole number, for example, in this one. Six thirds. If I were to take that, six divided by three? It'd be two. It would be two. So this whole answer would just be a two. Very good. All right, now, I'm going to make it just a tad bit harder, okay? And this time, you're going to have to change something. Okay, what's wrong with this, Isaac? There, it's a mixed number and a improper. Yes, it's a mixed slash improper number, okay? But there's two ways to do this problem, okay? You can just take the, num the fraction that's impro improper and figure that out. So let's go on and do that. 7 divided by 5. Five going to seven one time. Now we get two left over. I'm gonna bring that up. Slide the five over. So what it's saying is that this seven fifths is actually one and two fifths. Okay. So I have three whole pies, and then the seven fifths is one whole pie plus two fifths. So what would my final amount be? Four and two fifths. Yeah. So I would basically add these. I would have three whole pies plus another whole pie which would give me four whole pies, and then I would take two-fifths. So our final answer would be four and two-fifths. Now, there's actually an easier, well, maybe not easier way, another way that some people would like to do. Would you like to show it? Uh, I can, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to write it up here. Three and seven-fifths. I taught this to Isaac last year. Yeah. Oh, I'm... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's just going to bring us back to this. Oh, no, that's good, though. That's good for when you're m m subtracting. That's still going to give you three and seven bits. Okay, so, no, no, but what he's doing, he's got it, so he's got this three, and then this one and two fifths, which would ultimately give us four and two fifths, okay? But, I don't think I talked about this last year. There's another way that you can do this, okay? And so you would take and go five times three, oh, yeah, you, you get your answer, 15. You did. 
that I, it's just hard to remember. And then you would take this 15 plus 7, which would make it 22. Okay? In 22, and then you just move, just whatever your, however many times it's broken up, your denominator, you would put 5. Okay? Now, this makes it not any um, mixed numbers. It's just a fraction. Okay? There's not a whole number involved. So then you would take this number, 22, and divide it by 5. Okay? 5 will go into 20. Four times. Four times five is twenty. Clean that up. And your five over. And that just gives you your final one. Okay? So you can choose which one you like better. I don't care. Honestly, it might just be easier just to find this and then add your three to it. Okay? So whichever one you prefer, it doesn't matter to me. Okay? Now, let's give you a few problems. For example, four-fifths plus four-fifths. So now this is taking what you just learned and then applying it. Okay, so you learned this in lesson nine. Now we'll learn and add them kind of together, nine and ten. We're going to be combined. Okay, so my final answer here would be what, Isaac, so far? Not final, just answer oh, so far. that would be eight-tenths, which would be four-fifths. Wait, 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 come out. Oh, you keep the bottom number, which would be... Okay. So as you just remembered, which was very well, is that he's adding. So therefore, you have the same denominator, and it just stays that way. So we would just slide it over. Very good. Okay, and then this 4 plus 4 is? B. What? 8. 8. Very good. Okay, but there's something wrong with this answer. What, what's wrong with it, Isaac? It's improper. It's improper, okay? Meaning that the number on top is bigger than the number on the bottom. So what are we going to do? Divide. Mm -hmm. This says 8 divided by 5. 8 divided by 5. 5 goes into 8 one time. You get 3 left over. Bring it up. Slide your 5 over. The final answer to this problem, 4 fifths plus 4 fifths, is 1 and 3 fifths. Got it? Let's try another one. Now pay attention to what I did this time. 5 over 2 times 3 fourths. 5 halves times three-fourths. Now, the most important thing you realize is that this one is multiplication, not adding. So, does it matter, Isaac, no. that these are different? No, it does not. So, I actually have to work this problem and work this problem, okay? So, what is five times three? Fifteen. Very good. And two times four? Eight. Very good. What's wrong with this answer? Improper. Okay, help me out. Uh, Fifteen divided by Okay. Fifteen divided by eight. 8 goes into 15 Once. one time, 8 seven. and 7, slide it up, one and seven slide that eight. over. 1 and 7 eighths is your final answer. Feel like you're getting it? Yep. All right. Now, sometimes they're going to just give you a mixed number. For example, 3 and 1 third. And they're going to tell you to take this mixed number and make it into an improper fraction. Now, that's how you use what you taught. That's when I would use that. Do you want to try it? Okay. Um, Four times three is eight. Eight 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 times three so 10, and then you just keep your um, number always, your denominator you want to keep. So the final answer to make it improper would be 10, ten thirds. Excellent job. All right, and that is lesson 10.